Yo, how's it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. Today, we're going to be looking at five brand new squads that people have submitted via Twitter. Now, if you want to be involved in the next I Rate Your Teams, it's very simple, very easy. Please watch this next 30 second segment to understand how to enter. With team of the season coming to a close, FIFACoinZone.com are starting a brand new thing on their site where they're doing top series packs. Make sure you go check them out and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off. Take a HD screenshot from your console or capture device of choice. No phone images, no web app images, no phone app images. Only HD screenshots straight from the source of FIFA. And tweet them using the hashtag It's Haber. Don't at me in the tweet. Tweet them using hashtag It's Haber. Now, there are tutorial links in the description for both Xbox and PlayStation for you guys to know how to actually take a screenshot and tweet it. Uh, so you can follow those to know how to do that. Now, tweet it using hashtag It's Haber. Give me a, a description of your team. How many coins have you got? Who's tradable slash untradable? I want to see your team that's how it starts and how it is in game if it doesn't start it's the same way it plays in game and you must be following me on twitter it's as simple as that so if you want to be in the video next you just have to do that basically <laughs> i thought we'd start off looking at my team now i actually finished elite this week in foot champs hang on i don't even know how to see this anymore um it's been a while since i've had a look at my record to be honest i, I haven't played the last few weeks so i played this week i actually went 23 and 5 and gifted my last two wins away didn't get a thank you from either of them amazing amazing that you literally give someone a win at a high elo and don't even get a thank you come on guys um no but so this is the team that i used uh it's my first weekend with r9 really liked him uh not as impressive as i thought he would be to be honest uh, I, I really enjoy lozano a lot more than r9 to be honest um but no, R9 for, for all 30 games. Uh, George Best I actually played for for the first sort of 15, 20 games. And then I brought on Lozano. And I was so happy I brought in Lozano because he is just a game changer, man. He is just absolutely incredible in this game. He's just he's just nuts. I didn't start Kimpembe. I actually started like this. Uh, this is how I played for the for the whole weekend because Kimpembe, I didn't do till after. But I started actually playing like this. Um, but however, I think this upcoming weekend, I'm going to start like that and play some games like that with Kimpembe. He just looks a little bit too good to sort of pass up. And then in game, I think I'll swap those two like that. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier, I guess, to get them on chem or whatever. Um, but yeah, he's left footed, so I want to play him on the left. But no, this team is incredible, man. I play a 4 1 2 1 2 in game. Hullet is just Hullet. I mean, obviously, FIFA is incredibly pay to win. So, of course, I'm going to get elite with a team like this. But, like, dude, it's so nice playing with these players. Regardless, anyway, we're going to get onto Twitter and we're going to find the first squad to review to talk about. So, let's go do that. So, the first team comes from Lili Alonso. He just followed me on Twitter. He said, Second pick is in game. Have 375,000 coins to spend because I packed Dumfries, Tots, and Salah second in form. Any tips? So, this is how he starts his team. And then in game, he plays like this. Now, it is a nice team. Don't get me wrong. This team is a nice looking team. He's got the right plays, the right mix in all the right positions. However, 375,000 coins is actually quite a lot of coins. So, I would change one or two things here or there. All right. So, this is what your team looks like in game. Now, first of all, I would actually get rid of Mounier. That is the first thing I would do. And I would bring in your special Ducore. Now, if you're wondering, he had it on the bench. You can see it from the first picture. Uh, he has a special decor. I think personally at CDM, this card would probably play a little bit stronger. Now, what that will allow you to do if we quickly switch over to how your team starts, for example, what this will allow you to do then is play, for example, Firmino at Cam, then play um, Van Basten at Striker. I know that just just keep up. You, you'll, get, you'll grasp it. Uh, and then what I'm saying is get rid of Tovan. For a version of Mana that you can afford, the best version of Mana you can possibly afford. I'm saying maybe his his 90 rated card you could probably afford there. Um, so that you've got a really decent Mane version. So that actually gets Firmino on full chemistry. It gets rid of Tovan. It brings in uh, Mane. And then obviously Bess is going to be on full chemistry. The only player then in the entire team that won't be on full chemistry is Endombele. However, what I then suggest is you swap over... Ducore and end on bet. Okay, this is getting really confusing. Let me just build your team how it starts and show you how it's going to look. Basically, it starts like this. Ducore, uh, sorry, actually, I'm not on the right screen. Uh, basically, it starts like this. Uh, Ducore will be on full chemistry. Best will be on full chemistry, given the right position changes. And literally every single player in the team will be on full chemistry. And then in game, this is how your team would look. This is, I'm doing, I'm going so wrong here. I'm, I'm really. It's so hard to explain. Actually, you know, I, this isn't hard to follow. If you're not, if you're struggling to follow this, 
then you don't have a high high gear. I'm sorry, you just don't. So then it looked like this in game, basically. Um, or you can swap Van Basten and Firmino in game. Um, either way, you've got, pretty much got the whole team apart from you've swapped out Mounier and you swapped out Tovan. That's what I personally do to get a better version of Mane in there and get you Ducore in there. It gets everybody on chem and I think chemistry is quite important. And then this Mane card looks really, really good. Having used his 9 rate player of the month, I can tell you that Mane is incredible in this game. He's just so agile, so quick. I think this would be a great way to get everyone on full chemistry. So that's what I personally do if I were you. Aside from that, it's a very nice team. And uh, and let me know how that Mbabu plays. In fact, using best on the right actually gets Mbabu on full chemistry as well. So he literally gets so many players on full chem that weren't already. And this card just looks absolutely incredible. I do regret not doing that card. However, I think Danny DeCost is still probably better than Mbabu. Regardless, that's what I do to your team. Um... I'd focus just on getting everyone on full chemistry, and I think that's the best way to do it, to be honest. Uh, I can't see a better way to do it. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully people don't get confused by me explaining that, but it shouldn't be that confusing, really. Next team is from Tom Cree, who, of course, follows me on Twitter. He says, hey, mate, everyone is untradeable except Rashford, Sterling, and Walker. 150,000 coins is the budget. What do you reckon? So he starts like this and plays like this in-game. Now, it's actually a nice team, to be fair. Like you've got You've got nice players in the right positions. Um, everyone starts on full chemistry and then gets chemistry in game as well, or obviously plays where you want in game, but is already on full chemistry. Uh, the team's nice. Now, there is a few things I would personally change. Uh, obviously saying so Rashford, Sterling and Walker, the only tradable players. Uh, let's see what we can do with this team. So I looked and Walker has a market value of about 90,000 coins, giving you around 200k to upgrade. Now, the first thing I would do is get rid of Walker. Second thing I do then is actually bring Kovacic over here on the left and probably get rid of Rui Costa. In fact, you know what? You can keep Rui Costa and then get rid of Sterling. Sterling has a value of... How much does Sterling have? Sterling's value is probably... I, I mean, I wouldn't even make a guess. About 100,000 coins. So you're on about 340,000 coins to get a centre-back and a centre-mid. Uh, providing, of course, they get full chemistry as well in the team. Now, uh, the reason I wouldn't go with Deco uh, sorry, Rui Costa as a centre-mid is because I just don't think the Rui Costa is a very good centre-mid. Um, he's got great stats as a cam, but he just... I feel like with centre mid, you always need some decent defensive stats. I think Kovacic should be good uh, centre mid with decent defending stats. I just don't think that Rui Costa will provide that solid centre mid role, to be honest. This is what I would do with your team. Now, having just literally converted somebody's team completely to get everyone full chem, it seems incredibly hypocritical of me to not then go with players on full chemistry. But I would use at left mid, Mohamed Salah. Now, the reason I would use Mohamed Salah at left mid is because he's got very decent stats as a centre mid. His foot birthday card has actually got really good stats in the really good positions to actually be an incredible centre mid or an incredible uh, going forward midfielder, staying back midfielder. He's got the defensive stats. And then I would go and do the SBC for Joe Gomez because this card as a centre back. I've played against it in champs and it's actually a pretty solid card. Um, and for about 70,000 coins, it gives you a lot of room to use your coins elsewhere as well. Um, so that's personally what I'd do. Now, obviously, you could probably uh, you could probably um, experiment, maybe using Alonso over there as your uh, as your left back. Uh, sorry, as your right centre mid instead of your left back, uh, or swap them around. I think Alonso is probably a very well rounded midfielder. Uh, however, I do prefer Alonso at the back post winning headers as well. So it's completely up to you. That's what I do. I like I said, I know it's hypocritical of me completely going off course, being like, yo use everyone on full chemistry and then being like yo use these players off chemistry however sometimes i feel, I feel like you're limited with the kind of players you have so sometimes you don't really have a choice uh but when you have a choice obviously you go for players on chemistry but you don't have a choice or whether it's just hindering your squad completely then chemistry sometimes has to take a, a bit of a, a downfall one thing i will say before we get into the next squad uh which you probably can already see on the screen uh, i've noticed recently a lot of a very toxic uh, comments, toxic arguments in the comments, and I'm not entirely sure what sparked this uprise of toxicity. Uh, recently, I've been literally perma permanently banning people from uh, talking in my comments because there's just no need for it, to be honest. Like, if we're doing a Rate Your Teams video, if your team doesn't get shown, I do apologize. I get a lot of submissions in there. If my uh, opinion doesn't coincide with your opinion, please act your age and don't get upset about my opinion not being the same as your opinion. We're all different. We all have our different opinions, and there's no need to actually be upset with someone because you have a different opinion to them. And if you think that someone's team is bad, if you think someone's team's good, just you know, let's keep it nice and mature, right? We're all adults here, I think, I hope, sort of. So let's keep it all mature, right? The next squad is from FIFA Genius, who, of course, follows me on Twitter. Uh, this is how he starts a team in game. He says, this is my team of four in game. I have 120,000 coins and the whole team is untradeable other than CR7. I'm a bit stuck on what to improve on slash grind towards. Any improvements would be appreciated. Don't hold back on the weak areas. Thanks. Now, this is what he looks like in game. And uh, I tell you what, it's a, it's a very, very solid team. Let's, uh, let's quickly go over to the console 
and show you guys what it looks like in game. So um, the team itself looks very strong. I'm not entirely sure about George Best as a striker. I think these two would probably be better off swapped around. Um, I personally think that George Best is much better cam. And I think that Ronaldinho has got a bit better of a striking prowess. He's got like 93 finishing, 94 composure. Uh, I just think that Ronaldinho shots are a little bit better than George Best from sort of inside the area. And then vice versa from outside the area. I think George Best is better with, with shooting. That's just my personal opinion. Um... I'm not entirely sure about this guy, Senna Mid. I've never actually played against this guy or seen this guy. So I, I'd love to hear what your opinions are of this guy. I mean, he looks like a very strong centre mid. Uh, a very strong centre mid. Holy moly, he looks like an incredible centre mid. Um, I'd love to hear how you, how you get on with this guy. Four-star skill moves, decent passing, decent defending, decent pace and shooting, decent physical. Damn, this guy looks incredible. I have literally never seen him. I've never played against him. I've never used him. Um, aside from that, I think your team's pretty strong. I think the next thing you probably work towards is upgrading, I'd say, maybe upgrading uh Laporte um I see you've got Mbappe Aubameyang and David uh, sorry Bernardo Silva on the bench so I'd say maybe upgrading Laporte is probably the next best thing um whether you can try and work towards a Maldini obviously we've got a lot of time left in FIFA um there's definitely ways that you can work towards upgrading to this Maldini card probably a better card than Laporte aside from that I can't see anything else with your team apart from just swapping these two around it's a really nice team it hits all the right areas and uh, like I said, let me know how the pool plays because that card looks pretty incredible. Um, but no, it's a nice team, and uh, I'm a little bit jealous of uh, of all the all the special cards you've got. For example, uh, I would have loved to have had an untradeable Dumfries. Um, I had a tradable Dumfries. I had two tradable Dumfries actually. But when I was market band, I couldn't do anything about it. Um, I would have loved to have had an untradeable, for example, uh, Edison. Edi like, it's weird because I would have hated Edison if I'd have got him week one. However. Like, looking bad in it now, I wish I got one of the goalkeepers to fit into my squad because although I've got, like, Van der Sar and I like Van der Sar, um, I feel like I'm using the same back line every game. So I just want to kind of, kind of change it up. And a, a nice goalkeeper would have been nice. But then again, I know when I'm opening rewards, you want Ronaldo and Messi and, and Neymar and people like that. So when you're opening rewards, you're like, damn, a goalkeeper... You just don't want it. It's a really weird one. Next team we've got is Dino's team. Of course, follows me. Love me, hate me. I don't care. I'm just doing what I do best. Let's go, Dino. He says, got about 250,000 coins. Kante and Petit are tradable. Uh, I put all my good plays I have over both benches. All right, so this is how he plays in-game. This is in-game squad. This is how he starts his team. Uh, he starts in a 3-4-3. Now, uh, obviously, only Kante and Petit tradable. So he's got an untradable Tots Messi. That is incredible. An untradeable team of the year, Ramos. Incredible as well. Um, I'm trying to see. I mean, that's a decent red to have. You've got a decent De Jong there as well. Uh, untradeable Davinson Sanchez. Untradeable Ferland Mendy. You've got some really... Untradeable Tots Ibra. Oh, my word. you got incredible luck. Uh, what else you got over here? you got uh, Baby Socrates. You've got an untradeable 89 in form Mbappe. You've got... Damn, you got some really nice plays in Tradable, bro. That's actually really, really nice. I got to tell you, I massively respect you. I massively respect you for using a back three. It's very anti-meta. A lot of people don't use it, so I've got a lot of respect for you for doing that. Um, in terms of your team, truthfully, there's not a whole lot that I actually would change. Obviously, just working towards getting a better version of Petit. Uh, maybe going towards... I don't know if his prime icon moments SPC is still out, but if it is, just grinding towards that. Uh, and the same with Kante, just trying to grind towards his team of the year. I wanted to focus... Like, not focus. I wanted to feature this squad in the... In the sorry sorry first of all hang on i'm really slow in my words here i wanted to feature this team first of all because you've got an incredible pack look with team of the year messi and a bunch of other incredible players but i just respect that you're using back three all right i just respect it uh, a lot of people submit their squads and it's the same squad over and over it's a 4 2 3 1 you've got really tall cams you've got really tall strikers you've got really tall cdms you've got really op back line you've got really op goalkeeper and it's like it gets a little bit boring, I feel like. So it's nice to see some kind of variety. And I think this team is definitely uh, one for variety. I think this team looks really, really nice. Now, Fred at Cam, not entirely sure about that. But let me know how he plays at Cam. That, that's definitely an interesting one for me. I'm not entirely sure I'd like him at Cam. Um, I think, to be honest, looking at 88 pace, he's probably got enough pace, to be honest, to swap these two around. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be against that to be honest. Or maybe swapping him and Ribery. Um I think I feel like Fred would be a decent out wide player with his defensive stats uh to come back on defense and then having like Tovan as your as your cam maybe. Um aside from that, the team honestly is a very, very nice team. And like I said, hats off to you for using a three back. Um I'm still not quite there with a three back. I'm enjoying using a four back, but I don't really play the four to three one anymore. I feel like that's just where FIFA gets super boring and it just gets the same old, same old every single game. So I like to change it up and I think that's the best way 
way to do it. And uh, like I said, salute to you, sir. Very nice team. The last team is from Jared, who, of course, follows me on Twitter. Like I've said, everyone follows me on Twitter that uh, that is featured in the videos. Now, he's also using a very different formation, um, which I wanted to feature as well. The whole reason I wanted to feature it. Uh, he said, I start in the 4-2, uh, sorry, the 4-3-2-1 and then change to a 4 triple 2 Going to get rid of Fernando Torres soon. I'm probably going to put him in any estate into SBCs during footies. Other than that, I have about 400,000 coins on my entire team besides Fabinho is untradeable. So this is how he starts. Wow, there's there's two things that, that that stand out to me straight away. And this is how he plays in game. So first of all, what is that red look? Tots Neymar and Tots Salah and tradable. That is just unreal. That is genuinely mental. GG. That is incredible. So I would personally change a couple of things. But again, I wanted to feature this because it's not the most overly meta slash overly used formation. It's an incredible team. Uh, and it's very different. So this is how I'd change your team, first of all. Like, these are a few things that I personally do. First things first, I'd swap Blanc and Laporte. I think that a left-footed a left -footed left uh, centre-back is always stronger than a right-footed left centre-back and vice versa. So as these guys are on their strong foots there, I think that's just probably a little bit of a better thing. Now, he said, how many coins you got in trade? Uh, how many coins you got tradable? So you got 400,000 coins. you got to try and upgrade this right here, man. I mean, if you can get yourself, I don't know, like... I know he's getting chemistry for, for Salah. Maybe you just go for a better version of Fabinho. I'm not entirely sure the, the market value of his UCL card. But if you can get this card, what, how much is he? So about 300. You've got enough coins to get him, bro. You've got enough coins to get this Fabinho. i just do that, truthfully. And aside from that, I mean, maybe as well, I'd personally say maybe do that. I think Fernando Torres will be way better as a striker and Neymar way better as a cam or even something like that, to be honest. Like, like I wouldn't even say that's bad either. Like, I, I think that playing something like this, having your, your cams better suited as cams, I think that Salah's better suited than Torres as a cam. Same with Figo. Uh, these two are way better at striker. That's maybe why you want to get rid of Torres because you're not using him as striker, so you're not getting his full potential. Aside from that, that team is genuinely nuts. GG on the incredible red pack look and, and GG on using a not overused formation. Like they're not, not the 4 2 3 1. It's not that boring. But that's it for this episode. We've been recording for 45 minutes and I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I really enjoyed doing these episodes. Sadly, it takes a long time to prepare and stuff like that. Like getting all the squads built and stuff like that actually takes longer than you think. Um, probably about an hour and a half to two hours of literally just building the squad, getting the players in the right position, getting all the tweaks ready and stuff like that is it goes into this video. Like it's it's difficult, but I enjoy making them for you guys because you guys seem to enjoy them a lot. Like I said, don't be don't be too toxic in the comments. Let's just keep it nice and, and, and sort of positive and stuff like that. Uh, make sure to submit your teams for the next episode. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.